Hello and welcome. So today we want to show you a few agility drills and a sprint drill that you can do with your athletes to work on footwork and agility, change of direction, that you improve that. So we're going to be doing the T drill, the H drill and the 20 yard sprint drill. So Alexander is going to demonstrate the drills for us and um, hope you enjoy it and stay with us. Okay, next we're going to show you the T agility drill as we have a T pattern on the court. So we have two green agility rings in the center of the court. That's where we initiate the split step. Then we have the purple rings on the outside extensions of the sideline and the blue rings right here in front. So how we're going to do the drill is to initiate the drill we split step in the green rings. Then we move in side step as fast as we can to the purple side. Then we jump in, stick the landing. It's very important to be on one leg, stick the landing and push off to the other side. It's very important because we take advantage this way of the stretch shortening cycle you can think of as a spring. So you jump in, the spring goes down and then you push off and the spring expands to the other side. So you actually have a burst of energy propelling you to the other side. That's why we want to do the stick landing on one leg, jump in, jump out. So do not have two legs on the ground when you change direction. And Alexander is going to demonstrate it for us. One time he does it slowly and then we're going to do it at maximum speed. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm a long I'm gonna so in sidestep fashion, jump in, one leg, jump out, sidestep to the other side, jump in left foot, jump out, forward sprint, both legs in, back pedal, and once you're past the baseline, it's done. Okay, so next we're gonna do it now at full speed. So here we go. That's the way to work. Come on, come on. Goodness, you see the agility rings. A great teaching cue because then uh, they don't allow the athlete to cheat. Okay, next we're going to have the H drill because we have kind of the movement pattern of an H. So you, you split step in the center of the baseline to initiate the drill. Then you move your side step along the baseline, split step again, jog, sprint forward, split step in the blue rings, sprint to the yellow ring, left foot sticks the landing, sprint to the other yellow ring, the right foot sticks the landing, sprint back and back pedal all the way to the back. So this is an all court agility drill that is great for tennis players because you really mimic the movement mechanics that you would use, that you would see on the tennis court. Okay, so we're going to initiate the drill once the split steps occur. Okay, so here we go. Whenever you're ready. In. Good, 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 good. Stick it, good. That's it. Stick it, good. Sprint, sprint, stick with the left. No, what's the wrong foot? And back pedal, back pedal. Okay. 15 seconds. Okay. So he messed up over here one time on. The yellow ring over here with the change of direction did it with the wrong foot. So you really want to make sure the movement mechanics, especially change of direction, you do it the right way. That's really, really important for the exercise because that will optimize your change of direction ability, meaning your agility capabilities. In between the drills, so this drill now it took 15 seconds. So you kind of want to have a work or work to rest ratio of one to three. So if the drill now took 15 seconds, you want to take three times that amount of time. So 45 second rest intervals in between. If you're very, very working with very, very fit athletes, you might go down to a rest interval of one to two. So that means after 30 seconds, they would have to do it again. If you start with beginners, you can give them a minute just to get used to the metabolic demands of the exercise because you want to make sure that they can do it at full speed because of the fact that you want to engage or you want to actually target fast twitch muscle fibers. So if the rest intervals are not um, 
specific to the people that you're working with, then you most likely will not train effectively. Let's say if the rest intervals are too short, then you're actually engaging more of the slow twitch fibers because the fast twitch fibers are already fatigued and you didn't give enough recovery time for the energy to come back for the athlete so he can go at maximum speeds again. So you really want to make sure that you time the rest intervals according to the people that you are working with. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's do this again. Come, 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 come. Okay, next we're gonna have the sprint test, which basically starts from the baseline on the opposite side of the court and goes to the sideline extension of the service line on the other side. Um, if you have available, you want to use four agility drinks for the, uh, for the drill, because that ensures that the athletes don't cheat and it's a good visual aid as well. So you can put two agility rings on the baseline extension, which is where the athletes would split step into to initiate the drill. And then you place two rings on the other side and the extension of the service line so that the athlete also has a visual aid to know when the sprint is over. Well, that's it again for today's episode. As usual, opinions differ. What's your point of view? Let us know below in the comment section. A brand new episode will be available next Sunday. So make sure you don't miss it and subscribe. In the meantime, I recommend you watch some of the previous episodes. You should really watch them all. If you like what you saw, tell your friends. I'm sure they will appreciate it. I'm Philipp Halfmann. Thank you for watching and Auf Wiedersehen. Tennis Conditioning TV episodes are licensed under Creative Commons. You are welcome to link or embed these videos, forward them to others and share these ideas with people you know. Brought to you by Advanced Concepts of Strength and Conditioning for Tennis. Available at TennisConditioningBook.com Music by Dan O at DanOSongs.com